that was close. Well, if it isn't the old friend Professor Stanley Unwin, I haven't seen you for ages. Raymond Baxter, the military expert of the British Broadcasting Corps. The very same. But seriously, Professor, I must congratulate you on your control just now. That could have been awful. You must have got a good break. Good break, Worthy, is only half the question I gave. Try hold it and road grip on equal importance. How right you are. If the tyres won't grip the road, then the brakes won't stop the car, and that's all there is about it. Very true. If you have bad tyre, Worthy, then foot on the brake hardly, and no stopping. Swish, swish, crash, bang, and finish up in hospital. If only people would remember that. But tell me, what tyres do you use yourself? Because they seem to do their job very well just now. Fit India Auto Weight, and no more worry about the quick stop. So you're an India Auto Weight tyre man yourself. Well now, Professor, you're a bit of a technical expert on most things. Do you regard the India Autoway tyre as being the best on the road? Incontrovertible. And what reasons would you give for holding this opinion? Well, it's the grip fix on the road holds it. And in consequence, the brakes stop instantable, like foot through the four bowl. It's a safe drive, no accident. I see what you mean. The Autoway grips the road so firmly that it is possible to brake very hard and stop almost instantly, thereby avoiding what could be an accident. Just as I said. And how would you account for this exceptional road holding? Ah, well, it's the grip deep treading on the tyre face frame. So, together with the rubber recipe used to flee the only India autoway, turn a wet road holy into a dry Oh, I'm with you there. You say that a wet road means almost nothing to these tyres because the extra nice cuts on the face of the tyre work together with the new cling rubber used in the manufacture so that they mop a dry track and hug the road ready so close for a firm measured stop to be possible even in the wet thus providing extra braking power. I couldn't have put it better myself. Quite so. Any other special points? Oh, several important points. Now look at the inbuilt rib weight of the anti yonder Road surfery bump banks and crack wallops no longer causing a snatch wear on the steer. Autoway rides smooth sailing. This is a very good point indeed, and I'm glad you raised it. The special anti wander rib enables the tyre to caterpillar smoothly over road irregularities, metal studs, joints in concrete, even a built-up white line, avoiding the sudden snatch at the wheel, which could cause momentary loss of control. That's what I said. Of course you did. Uh, what about cornering? Ah, Autoway uh, gives complete cornery confidence and can't sliver. No? No. See, the clean rubber holds tight clasp to the roadway surfery and increased stabiloid is given every time. Yes, I'm with you there. You reckon the 100% cling rubber grips the road tighter on cornering, particularly fast cornering, while the extra buffer bar improves stability all round, thereby increasing cornering confidence. You keep repeating everything I've just said. Anyone would think I'm speaking the lingo of a fast runner. I'm sorry, Professor. I was just clarifying my own thoughts. But uh, to sum up, Professor, what would your message be to everybody in the interest of road safety? Ah, yes. This is a matter of the greatest importance. Always remember, if you're a pedestrian on the walking foot, whether it be the roadie or highway, always remember the righty lefty look to see to be safe ways for the crossover. And for the motorist to be safe ways at all times, fit India autoway tyres. Hey, watch it. No, get back! <laughs> ah, naughty girl. Never run into the road he was about to ride for me. I wish I had to be blue with any other thing. I wish you would. Ah, naughty girl. Never run into the road he was about to ride for left you look see. Always remember all this. Go on. 